Hello everyone and welcome to our new lesson user account management. In this lesson we will learn how can we manage user account in Linux in Linux file system. There are a few commands that we use to manage user account. The first one is user add is to create a new user, group add to create a new group, user delete to delete, delete a user that is already created, group delete to delete a group and use a mod which is to modify a user now whenever we create uh, a new user those user management are um, are created their record is maintained in three different files the first one is Etsy password second one is Etsy group and the third one is Etsy shadow uh, now remember Etsy password is not a complete word password it's just pass WD example oh, to run a user command uh, which includes all the parameters that you have to define is as follow it goes with user add minus G with option to add a group minus s to option to give a, a shell environment minus c to define the user description minus m minus d to define the user home directory and the user itself and the user home directory itself and the name of the user now let's look at our linux machine and we will practice these commands and learn these command more into detail i will log into uh my linux um virtual console Let's move this a little to the side so we could see what are the commands that we will be using. Okay, um, always first thing first, um, you need to find out who you are, your, yourself, where are you, you are in your home directory, perfect, and what's inside of your home directory, just to confirm you are in the right place. Yes, you are. When you have confirmed this, just do the clear screen. Um, now we're gonna create a user called uh, let's say Spider-Man. Before I create a user, I wanted to add that user to a group um, that is let's call it superheroes. So in order to use these commands, you have to be root. So become root su space minus dash. Okay, the first command that we will run is user add space Spider-Man. You hit enter. It gives you the prompt back, which means it did create your user Spider-Man. How do we verify if the if the user is created? There is a command to check if user is created. It's called ID Spider. Man. and it'll tell you that there is an ID assigned to the user Spider-Man and the group is created called Spider-Man and the group's ID so on um, you could also verify by going to the home directory so home if you notice that it created right here the Spider-Man the next command that we want to learn is group add I want to create a group, a new group, to and the command to add a new group is group add, and I wanted to name it superheroes. It adds the group. Um, we could verify it by looking at the group file, which we'll cover in a little, little bit. But if you wanted to see it, you could just do cat at c groups. And at the bottom, you will see it created this group name superheroes. Now I want to delete the user I created Spider Man. 
to the command to delete is user delete. Now, if you want to delete the home directory of Spider-Man, which is right here, you will run the command user delete with minus R as well. So it will delete the, the directory as well. So it deleted the user and let's check if it deleted the, um, the home directory. Yes, it did delete the home directory as well. So it deleted that. I created an, a user before just called spider just for testing purposes as you can see it here. The next command we have to do is of course the group delete. So let's try to delete the group. Uh, uh, let's not delete our group superheroes. We'll create a new group and we'll delete it just for training purposes. So let's create group add um no new group let's call this no new group the group ad is created we can verify it by going to the group file and see at the bottom it says no new group that's the new group id we could delete the new no new group group delete no new group and it's deleted we could verify it again at the bottom see it's gone the next command that we have to learn is user mod this command is used to modify the users you could run man on user mod to see what it does it modifies a user account if you notice a appends it as a user to supplementary group c the new value user password d change the home directory so these are the things if you wanted to do after you create a user so we will uh, use this command to add our user spider spider-man let's see if we have spider-man first oh we deleted spider-man so let's create spider-man again user add spider-man as soon as you add the user user at spider-man it automatically creates its group as well if you don't specify it creates a group with the same name as user IDs now I wanted to add spider-man to a different group as well which is the superhero so how do we do that user mod minus G which what's the name of the group super heroes and the name of the user that I wanted to add is spider-man hit enter and it is added how do we verify it you do cat at C but instead of doing the cat and viewing the whole file how, how about we use grub command and just type spider man from Etsy group file and there you go you will see this is the super user group and spider man is also part of that group this is the spider man's own group name and own group ID so it Spider-Man has its own group and it also belongs to a group called superheroes as well. Now if you notice one here when you do ls-ltr, the group of Spider-Man right here is still Spider-Man. Why it didn't change to su superheroes? Because its actual group is Spider-Man but always remains Spider-Man. It is part of the other group as well which is superheroes. If you want this to change, then you have to run the command change group and then you specify superheroes and then you specify spider man and remember we have to use minus r option to cascade this permission of the group to every folder of the spider-man so let's run this command and now see if it changes from spider-man to superheroes Yes, see, now the user is Spider-Man, the group is superhero. So that's how you use these five different commands, user add, user group add, user delete, group delete, and user modification. And the files that it creates as information is, is the first one is Etsy password. Let's look at the Etsy password, cat Etsy password. And you'll see at the bottom as you, add a new user to the Linux system it adds 
the information of the user at the bottom appends at the bottom spider-man and the spider the one i created earlier both are in there the first column tells you the name the second one tells you the password which is encrypted it's just give you the x second one tells you the user id and then the group id and right here in between these two columns we didn't specify the description so it's empty and then here it's the home directory of the spider-man and then at the end it's the shell the spider-man is using so that's the description of the etsy password let's look at the description of etsy group in etsy group you have the first is group group name and then the group password which is the same password that is used for anyone within that group and then the group id the last column that you see here for with a few of them that means that these other users are also part of this group then the last file we'll look at is this etsy shadow etsy shadow file is strictly for passwords of users that we create this does not mean the password right here right here is the actual password it's just encrypted so we don't see it however it does have some other parameters like the password does not expire and these many days there are password length restrictions and so on you could view that in man command of creating users you'll get more information about etsy shadow file Again, if you are specific about one user, let's say you just wanted to know the information about Spider-Man in Etsy password, you do scrap Spider-Man Etsy password. And you will only get the information about the, your matching criteria, which is Spider-Man line. Now we will look at the last example, which is the example that is mostly used in the corporate environment that they will run one big command that will take care of all the parameters so let's create a new user user add minus g to specify the group which is we already have a group super heroes and let's look at uh, let's minimize this so we can move up and view our command okay okay superheroes minus s means the shell that you want to give there are different shells there are bin bash corn shell we'll cover that later minus c is the description you have to specify the description superheroes um you want to create iron man so iron man character just a description nothing more than that then minus m minus d and specify the home directory which is home iron man space iron man this will create a user iron man with all the parameters we have specified and how do we verify you just do id iron man and you'll see that Iron Man is there and is part of the group superheroes. And you could also view it in Etsy password file. And you see at the bottom it's there. Now, one thing that we do have to cover every time you have to create a user, make sure you create its password. So the command to create a password is just simple password, Iron Man. Enter, specify the password and the password that i've specified it says password fails the dictionary check it is based on a dictionary um you could ignore that as long as you're running as root but if you're not root then it's going to force you to change the password that is not based on dictionary but again you are root you could do anything so this concludes our lesson for user account management um, the, um, the main the basic uh, commands are these five commands and the files that are used to manage this is etsy password group and shadow